Hello, it's Alex and welcome to Hey Little Thrifter. Today I'm talking about my summer TBR. These are six horror novels that I picked off my shelves recently that I'd really like to get to at some point over the next few months. I tend not to do monthly TBRs because I like to allow for you know, whatever takes my fancy at the time, but there are always going to be some books that I want to get to sooner rather than later, and these are some of those. And it was only once I had put the six books together that I realised, coincidentally, I have two from the 1970s, two from the 80s, and two from the 90s, so that wasn't planned, but I think it worked out pretty well to have a good array of vintage horror coming up in my TBR pile. And because of that I figured I would go through them in chronological order. So first up from 1971, Crawl Space by Herbert Lieberman. This is one I don't know too much about, but I hear it's supposed to be pretty creepy. The start of the description on the back says, a tranquil life on an isolated New England farm. A shy young repairman who is invited to dinner. And it turns out that this repairman comes back to the farm and lives in their house without them knowing. And I guess lives in the crawl space. That premise alone is creep filled, so I'm really looking forward to reading this one. Next up is Harvest Home by Thomas Tryon. This is from 1973 and it's one that's been on my to read list for quite some time and I was really happy to stumble upon a copy of this a couple of months ago at a library book sale and I really only know the very basic setup for this one which is that it is set in a village where some very old traditions are being upheld and I think that relates to the earth and I'm not sure whether it's like full-on pagan rituals or what but I've definitely heard this as being described as within the folk horror subgenre which is one of my favourite things so yeah I'm just happy to dive into this one finally I'm really excited to read it. Next up from 1981 Pin by Andrew Niederman featuring one of my favourite covers with step back art of all time and this is about a brother and sister who have a rather strange upbringing involving this anatomical model called Pin and yeah I'm expecting some bonkers 80s action from this one so pretty excited for it. I have seen the film adaptation so I'm looking forward to finally reading the book. Next up is Nightstone by Rick Halteller from 1986 with this pretty fantastic holographic action and this is a bit of a chunker, it's almost 600 pages long and I think it's like a classic moving to a creepy house and there's a creepy kid involved type situation so yeah this one sounds like it'll be a lot of fun. Moving on to 1990 with Dark Scope by Margaret Falk. This is about a woman who gets divorced and she moves to a different town to start a new life. And there are lots of strange goings on in the old house she moves into. And it seems she unleashes some kind of spirit from an old camera. And I'm not sure if this is more of a mystery, but with supernatural elements, or whether it's full-on horror, but either way, I'm super intrigued, and I'm looking forward to giving this one a read. And last up is The Making of a Monster by Gail Peterson from 1993. This is about a woman who moves to Los Angeles, she is turned into a vampire, and then she joins a rock and roll band, so it sounds like the best 90s Hollywood vampire novel that I've never heard anyone talk about before. So I'm really looking forward to giving it a go. And the author was actually in a band herself called The Catholic Girls. So I think this will be a really fun look behind the scenes of that world, seeing as she was there at the time. So yeah, this one should be fun and I think it will be a great one to read in the summertime. So those were six books on my summer TBR, kind of a short and sweet video, but that'll give you an idea of a few things on my 
radar and hopefully over the next few months I will report back with my thoughts on them as I get to reading them. Let me know if you've read any of these and tell me what you thought or let me know what you're most looking forward to reading this summer. Thank you ever so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye!